it's like a, a basic procedure that, that I do, I like to do. I like to measure everything before I put it together. I, I usually like to measure, clean, and then measure one more time and then assemble. So, just in case you have dirt particles in there that, that throw off your clearances. With the Mitsubishi, it's a little different because torque specs are different, oil clearances are different, and based on the application that the motor is going to go for, say it's a drag motor, you need a lot more clearance. If it's a time attack motor, you need a little tighter, basic, basically facts, factory specs, but a little bit, a little bit uh, bigger clearances. All right, next I'm going to check uh, rod clearances. We got the we got the rod bolts torque bearings in, so. Next step is to set our mic. Already pre-measured the the crankshaft. Got all our, got all our uh, rod journal sizes here. So I like to set my mic up to the biggest size. It's our rod journal size. And this the board gauge. A lot of people like to use the old method, which is the plastic gauge. Just a piece of plastic and you set everything in the board. Now you set your crank in, then you put the, the caps on, you put that piece of plastic in between the bearing and the actual journal, which is the old method. We're in the 21st century, let's use a new technology.